a security studies researcher at the CETA think tank. He joins me now from Ankara. Murat, uh, always good to speak to you. Uh, just talk us through the significance of this meeting between Vladimir Putin and Bashar al-Assad. What are they both trying to achieve here? Uh, thanks for having me, Yashini. You know, I think there has been a type of analogy uh, of Putin taking Libya to the epicenter because Western countries frequently asked Russia and Turkey to leave Libya because of, in quotation, illegitimacy. And now uh, his statement clearly, uh, you know, is a type of indication, is a type of pointing out Libya uh, indirectly. On the other hand, I think his main focus is illegitimacy or legitimacy, and it's a different thing. And Putin and Assad is confusing one thing. The first issue is that we are not talking about recognition of the state, but legitimacy of a government, because the Assad government is currently uh, fighting against his own people and expelled almost 20 million people, uh, and they left this country or displaced inside the country. So if you are talking about legitimacy, and requesting the foreign forces leaving Syria, I think there must be a type of consistency in terms of having a knowledge on uh, international law, technically, and also political aspect of the overall question. Uh, Murat, uh, speaking about foreign uh, troops, uh, it's rather ironic that uh, Putin talks about foreign troops in Syria and interference in that country, considering Russia themselves support the Syrian regime and also have soldiers on the ground. Yeah, uh, you know, it's really an interesting picture because, uh, as you may know, 27 countries are currently recognizing Syrian national coalition as the legitimate representative of Syrians, and Syrian National Coalition has a seat in Arab League, for instance. On the other hand, uh, Putin is in a position to confuse exactly what Assad stands for in Syria and what should be the, you know, desired governing style of Syrians. Uh, well, Russian military presence on the ground is clearly backing Assad and directly challenging the Syrian civilians, not the uh, terrorists. That's another issue. And there's an indiscriminate targeting of civilians. Then I think uh, we should talk about legitimacy of Assad in Syria and also legitimacy of Russian presence in Syria. Yeah, I'm afraid we have run out of time, Murad Aslan. But as always, appreciate your analysis. Thank you so much.